I love Topeka. Uh, I actually moved here in 2004. I grew up in Southern California. That's where I started playing guitar. Where I, my uh, pastor actually got me my first acoustic guitar. And I would play some songs at church. And then once I got into middle school, that's when I kind of started skateboarding, getting into like the punk crowd, and met Blink-182, and that's kind of changed my life. And that started right there, and I literally, yeah, once I started listening to Blink-182, uh, that was when I knew, oh, this is what I want to do. <laughs> I was looking to get back into music after my old project, and I put a uh, Craigslist ad out, and Robbie was the first one to kind of jump on board. He responded to that Craigslist ad, and actually he had one out at the same time, and uh, we had similar taste in music. Met him out at the Jazz House for the, uh, one of my friend's shows, and uh, he's a cool dude. Uh, started playing, there's been a couple other guitarists that kind of came in and out, but we met Ryan shortly after that. I've been involved with bands, um, in and out I've played drums for most of them, and we've always just say we're going to do things and we never do them. Um, with this band, um, we're a bunch of motivated guys, and we, you know, we're all about the, we're, we're all the same personality, we all share the same interests, and we're wanting to go somewhere with this, so we're actually taking steps by doing photos, doing recording, getting shows. I feel like that we're taking the right step in the right direction, and um, my, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we get out there one day, make it on the radio, you know, or have have an EP out, sell some albums, you know, nothing too serious. We all got me and uh, Dustin. Uh, we've got kids, so you know, we, it'd be nice to travel and do shows, but it's kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. As soon as the first day we started jamming, we I think we wrote two songs the first day, and we were pretty stoked about it. Uh, and then Phil, I've known him for a while, but I used to work at a pawn shop back in the day, and he would buy, he'd come in, buy some guitars from me and stuff. And dude could shred on guitar, but uh, last time I spoke with, spoke to him, he switched over to started playing bass, and he's even a, he's a much better bass player. Like he's an asset to our band. I love it. Name picking is kind of like, it's one of the hardest parts of you know being in a band because you know you want it to be catchy, you don't want it to sound cliche, uh, but at the same time you just want it to stick in somebody's brain when they see it. And then uh, when he heard Hey Presto, I kind of heard that actually from a good friend of mine. Uh, I got that just like that. Hey Presto is just the ma you know the, magi the magician magic trick. It's Exciting. So none of our songs sound alike. Everyone's got its own unique little flavor to it. Um, but like, my main influence has always been pop. I just I grew up in Southern California, and that's just been who I am, who I've been. So, but uh, these guys are all basically on the same same train as I am, and so it's just a pretty cool, unique sound that we have. Um, you can find us on uh, Reverb Nation. Um, I know that uh, we have a, a Twitter account that you can follow us on to, updates, shows, stuff like that, what's going on with the band, in and outs.